I'm Jerry Jamestone, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious, easy, homemade mac and cheese. Now, the thing about mac and cheese, sure, you can make that stuff that's straight out of the box, but just with a few extra steps, it's so much tastier to have homemade mac and cheese. And the recipe is so flexible. You can use almost any kind of cheese, but let me show you how to do it. Okay, so to make a homemade cheese sauce, we're gonna start off with making a roux, and that begins with some melted butter. We're gonna add in some flour. So what we're creating here is a roux. A roux is basically just butter and flour, and we're gonna use that to thicken our sauce, our cream sauce. Super easy, it's a great way to make sure that you get a nice thick sauce without any lumps. You're just doing equal parts flour and butter. So I'm gonna add this in, mix it together, and then I'll add in the remaining part. This is how you create a really creamy sauce that thickens nicely and has absolutely zero like flour chunks in it. And add some more flour. And just get the remaining flour in there. I like using a little sieve because then it breaks up the flour and makes it easier for it to combine. And some salt. Now I'm gonna add in my milk. Mix the mixture together and bring the heat up. So when I was melting the butter and working in the flour, I had it on medium low. But now I'm bringing the heat up to about medium high. And once this starts to simmer and thicken, I'll reduce it a bit. But we want the sauce to thicken before we add in the cheese. If you find yourself getting a lot of clumps, for some reason maybe you didn't quite mix the butter and the flour together as you, good as you could have, then just simply whisk the mixture. Just be careful, if it's too hot, you're gonna spray it all over the place. So you can see it's starting to, to simmer a little bit there. You just wanna cook it for about a minute in this stage. You can see it's much more viscous. So go ahead and turn off the heat and once it stops simmering, we're gonna add in our cheese. It's really important because if it's too hot, the cheese and the cheese fat will separate and it's just, it'll turn into a really unpleasant texture. You can even, just to be safe, you can remove the pan from the heat. I like to keep it on there just to help making the cheese melting a little easier, but you do wanna be careful. If you've ever ruined a cheese sauce before, I highly recommend removing it from the heat. Okay, so I'm starting to add in the cheese. And the key here is just to let the heat of the cream sauce do the work. Now, I'm using cheddar in this recipe, but you can really almost use any kind of cheese. That's the great thing about a simple and easy homemade mac and cheese recipe. Anything will actually work. So just use your favorites. Fold it in. Add more cheese. Just fold it in. Don't overmix it. The heat from the pan and the cream sauce will cause it to immediately melt. And you might have guessed, even more fucking cheese. And more cheese. What's mac and cheese without a lot of cheese, right? And just a little bit more. that is pretty much pasta ready. So what I'm doing is I'm adding the pasta directly from the boiled water into the cheese sauce. Okay, so now we're gonna add our pasta to the cheese sauce. It's really important that you don't rinse your pasta. You just wanna add it straight from the pan, like drain it a little bit, like use a slotted spoon and work it right into the sauce. The reason for this is pasta, as you might know, is very starchy. And the starch from the liquid actually causes the sauce to get a little creamier. So the water helps it kind of spread around and the starch that's within the liquid makes it extra creamy. So never ever rinse your pasta. Even if you're using a tomato sauce, just transfer it straight into the pan that you're using with the sauce and fold it in. Trust me, you will love it. This is looking so good. Let's get all the 
remaining pasta in there. I'm just gonna fold that in. There you have it, real simple, easy to make mac and cheese. This is so much better than anything you'll get in a box. It's not that hard. It's delicious and you know comforting. It's like a nice warm hug. You're gonna love it. Okay, so that's all there is to it, right? Not too bad. If you like this recipe, hey, give me a thumbs up. If there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment below. And hey, you know what? Subscribe if this is your first time watching. I release a new video every week. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Tune in next time. See you guys.